So we're getting ready to go. The repair was made. Canadians are getting ready to go. Got the uh, boom fixed. Thanks to Milton, Ricardo, Pesh, and uh, Dave, who were here last night. Fixed it, we didn't film it, but uh, believe me, it's fixed. As you can see here, everything's been welded well. New pins made out of stainless steel. Milton did an awesome job on my, uh, I don't know what you call that part. Anyway, somebody will tell me. We got the spinnaker ready because we'll be sailing downwind. There's not that much wind, so about eight to 15 knots. So we're gonna try out the spinnaker because uh, we don't want to get beaten by those Darren Canadians. They got a bigger boat, they go a little faster. And uh, you know, can't let that happen. So here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a first for Pesh, first for Ricardo on this boat, and a first in Cape Verde since I came down from the Canaries that we have, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Orange Spinnaker. Very smooth, no hurries for nothing, looking beautiful as you can see. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. <laughs> And uh, I think it's the best way to go to Boavista today because the wind is weak and uh, in this way we can pass our uh, big fellows, uh, the Canadians. Yeah! We are just down there. Yeah, yeah. We're, We're going to catch up to the Canadians. Pesh was sailing with me as an apprenticeship. One thing he learned is don't sail hungover. We deserve pick me cerveja. Coca-Cola. But cream Coca-Cola. Very odd to see Pesh not drink, but maybe he's being good man, good student, and we appreciate it. I don't want to see anything, but you're doing about the spinach. Yeah. This is life aboard. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, right, Ricardo? Not gonna be the first, and not gonna be the last one. It's one of those shitty moments. <laughs> we'll give him some privacy. Thank you, man. <laughs> Liga Deus dam. Graças a Deus. Graças a Alex. Galopin. Coca Cola nem bebida. Good old Otto was helming again. I don't think you can get more no stress than this. We all got some time to chill. I mean, really chill. It was an eight-hour passage, steady downwind with little change, and we all did basically as we please. with the camera with the gun to shoot the good shots but we saw tuna sharks and dolphins <laughs> there is always an event at sea that turns on that inner child in us he's big man Yeah, 
It's a what? <laughs> uh, rough tooth dolphin. Okay. In Portuguese, calde caldeirão. 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 Yeah. Being from the island of Matera, Ricardo knows the sea life. We'd cut up to the Canadians. They were waiting so we could guide them into the anchorage. There is a hazard on the way called English Reef. Once in a bay, it's one of Kid Verde's sweetest anchorages. Calm blue waters, but shallow. It seems here Dave's boat was touching sand because he wasn't pivoting like the rest of us. So Ricardo was getting all the shit off my boat. That was part of the deal. He sure helped me out with my uh, problem and so, and I was happy, happy to help him out, bring a bunch of stuff from Salvacent to his boat here. So, Galapan's a little lighter. Well, thank you for everything. I yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> fish, come back, come back, fish. Ricardo, it was a real, real pleasure to have aboard. Even though he brought a lot of heavy shit with him. <laughs> so he's super happy to be back on his boat and to put all his stuff on his boat so he can start cruising too. What did you forget? <laughs> weed, man. I cannot forget. You forgot your weed. I thought you left it for me. I can no, leave I can leave I have. You saw I have some. I have some. Yeah. Well, I tried to fly the drone, <clears throat> but apparently I'm in a no-fly zone. And I don't know why, because we're right near the beach, not near the airport or anything. But, according to Pesh, a friend of his is a cook for the president. We're supposed to eat right over there. There's a little restaurant. And we don't know if it's today or not. Maybe that's why they created a no-fly zone, because the president of Cape Verde was here chilling out eating his friend's food. I think that might be it, because it's weird. No fly zone here by the beach. I mean, look, there's nothing. Me and Paige went for a little walk on the beach here, and we found this cool place called Maravesa. He heard about it, and he's like, wow, this place is cool. It's cool to discover a place with a fish. He's like, he heard about this place, but he said, I thought it was closed. <laughs> and he's like, wow, we could have a great party here, huh? Look at this. Yeah, the um bon lugar cala cara. Não festa de geral, tudo martes. Guala boy na arte. We brought the Canadians here earlier. This is Jumanga, who crafts these beautiful artifacts. There are tons of discarded broken conch shells here in Cape Verde because they just take the meat and just leave the broken shells in piles. And look what Jumanga does with them. Boy, this is cool. And over there is Garopan. That's where you anchor when you come here. It's kind of a ways to come with your dinghy, but it's well worth it and they're way out there, so you know, nobody's gonna mess with your boat, more or less. But nobody's gonna mess with your boat, period, I don't think here, you know, it's too cool. So, this is it, this is Saturday in Boa Vista. They were in Cape Verde's net, uh, best restaurant, what do you think? Amazing. And we believe we're one of Cape Verde's best restaurants, it's Churrascaria. And I think we're gonna have to come back here and do a little special on this place, because they really make fine foods with Cape Verdean ingredients. It's amazing. Woo! <laughs> nice one. It's amazing. I hope this pig had a good life. And Joanna. <laughs> she's something else. So, we're gonna... really crazy for Cape Verde. It's really raining hard. Last time it rained, it turned into uh, Hurricane Dwayne, I think, which unfortunately for all uh, the East Coast of America is coming your way. By the time this video comes out, it'll have come that way. 
Maybe this rain will become a hurricane too, because a lot of hurricanes are born around here. This is crazy, man. Woo. Big rain, big rain. We could hear people singing on the shore from the boat. This will be one of my happiest memories of Cape Verde, to have danced in the rain with Peche. It'd been three years since he'd felt rain. Can you imagine? Pois um banho tudo nu, cheezinha, as chuvinha que Deus já dá nós nesta terra, três horas, né? Nada. Al dá coragem, obrigado. Da maneira que a gente podia aguentar. He called his mother right after to tell her he'd showered nude in rain, and it's pretty special for Cape Verdeans because they're really discreet. Dave and Pete would leave us sailing back to Mandelo so they could make the passage north to the Canaries. That means the place to get wasted. It's a specialty shop with different yeah. ponches and grogs. Somebody said uh, on one of the comments, they said that they looked up a Stumperat on the internet and they couldn't find anything. That's right, you can't find Stumperat on the internet. You can only find it yeah. in Cabo Verde. Yeah, the real thing, you have to drink it. Huh? vivir. No a buscar in internet. Um, é, é, tem canela. Aham, yeah. uh -huh, tá bom, tá bom. Obrigado. Oh. I come here, it's nice guys. No problem. Yeah. Don't stress, it's have control. This business. Um bom grogs and the bom garida. No people come mm -hmm. here for stress. Nobody here. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I'm like here. Yeah. That's for us. We then went to Barak neighborhood for dinner. The liveliest spot in Boa Vista. It's also the most authentic and the best value. It's not for everyone because it's like a favela or slum. But for us adventurers, it's the place we are drawn to. Just like the sea draws us in for more adventures. We're at Maria's place. Makes great grilled chicken and French fries. Fresh French fries. She's a joke. Esqueci-vos